Like, you should... <laughs> Hi, 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 hi. I've got a brilliant idea. I've got a brilliant idea to keep us all on track. So I'm going to wait for you all to log on. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. I've just got back from the gym. So I've got Jim here. I apologise for that. But it was a case of like, I've got to go in the shower. I've just got to do it all. And then I've come out there. Time's a charm, Laurie. I've got an amazing, brilliant idea for you all. So I'm going to wait for you all to log on. And then we're going to crack on and get on with it. Just wait that that light in the background. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. So I've just got back from the gym. Hello. I'm on. I'm here. I'm here. Right. I've tested this. So I know it works. I tested it today. So I know it works. Because I was like, it's, I always say, hello, hello. I always say on my lives, think about, by the way, I painted my nails this morning beautifully. The worst nail varnish ever from MAC, FYI. It just peeled off, the whole thing. It's like they've all gone. Anyway, long, that's my run over. So anyway, I've got a brilliant idea. So I've tested this already. Hello, everybody. I've tested this already. I tested it on myself today. So when we are training together, I always say to you, this is a time you need to think of, this is the time you need to think of somebody. This is the time you need to think of whatever it is that motivates you whatever it is that pushes you whatever it is that drives you on okay so i always say that in my lives you've heard me say it a million times hello you've heard me say it many many times so at that moment whatever it is that you use as your uh, motivation so you might use uh me or you might use somebody else or you might use somebody off instagram so whatever it is that you you that you use as your in, uh, inspiration at that very moment in time this is a different way that you can use that sort of uh, momentum, okay? So I've tried this and I've tested it. So what I am setting you today, and I will join in as well, I'm setting you a challenge. A lot of you out there keep messaging me and you're telling me that you're struggling to stay focused for, for like even longer than a week because something is, it's just not clicking, it's just not working. So what we're going to do is we are going to work on a challenge together, okay? It's going to be very easy. It doesn't involve anything. All you need is a makeup pen or you need uh, a piece of paper or a sticky pen. It actually works better if you actually physically write it yourself somewhere that you can see it. So on a mirror, something like that, okay? Oh, thanks, Cory. I appreciate that. Hi. Get married in one month. Oh, I'm a... Hello. So, are we ready? This is what we're going to do, okay? So, you're going to need a mirror. So, I did my test on my mirror. So, when I get up in the morning, I can see it. It's right there. I can see it, and I, and I, I visualised it today. So, when I was doing my live today, it, I actually saw the writing in my head, okay? So, what I'm setting you today, all of you beautiful body rockers that are struggling to keep your food. Food is 80% of the challenge. The working out is awesome. If you're getting your workouts in, absolutely brilliant. But if you're struggling with the food side of it, and you know what you should be eating, but you just keep nibbling on those naughty things that are just taking you off your target, this is what we're going to do. On how we're going to keep motivated and how we're going to keep um, accountable is we're all going to post our days either on our Facebook page, on the Body Rock Insider page, on your Instagram and you're going to tag me but you're going to write it every day and you are going to tag me every day and we are going to hold each other accountable every single day, okay? So this is what we're going to do and it seems really stupid but it works. I tried it today and it works. And you know me, I wouldn't pass this on if I didn't think it was a good piece, a good tool for you all to do. Visualization is an amazing tool. Visualization is brilliant. Just kind of visualize where you want to be, visualize what you want. So this is what we're going to do, okay? Get yourself a mirror. So just like this one, get yourself a mirror. And then all you're going to do, get a makeup pen, anything. You're going to write day one. And that seems so stupid, doesn't it? Seems so simple. So you're going to put day one. And then tomorrow, you're going to put day two. And then the next day, you're going to put three, day three. And we are going to do it for 30 days. And every time you want to stop, every time you don't want to do your workout, every time you think about eating something you, you're not supposed to be eating, you think about this. Because the minute you quit, the minute you quit up to 30 days, you have to go back to day one and you just scrub it off. You can't cheat with this. This can't be, I've got to day five, and then day six, I've had something naughty, so I, I'm just going to put day seven. It's not that. 
This is that accountability that you are physically writing something down to say you are holding yourself accountable to this day, up to day 30. So I'm going to take a picture of this, I'm going to put it on my Instagram, and then we are going to hold each other accountable for 30 days. And in that 30 days, when you get to that point where you need that motivation, you think of this, you think of it, the fact that you have wrote this down, and this is where you want to be. This is your journey, this is your target, this is your motivation. Not somebody else, not somebody on your Instagram, you. You and your journey is your motivation, okay? So every day, this is what you're going to do. Every day, you are going to put yourself accountable. You are going to give yourself the things you need to, to get yourself in that good space. And to do that, it takes 21 days. So we're going to do it for 30. We're going to hold it accountable for 30 days. So you write this on your mirror tonight. When you get up this in the next morning, that is day one. And you look at that and you say to yourself, this is my, me telling myself... I am now accountable. This is it. Okay? So this isn't about trying to be somebody else. This isn't about trying to give up. This is about your journey, your little bubble of numbers. And day one is where we start. Day one is tomorrow. You might be doing my Hit Max 20 tomorrow, which is going to be solid. You might have just done Sean's workout. But when you get to that point where you want to give up, this is your abs, this is your ass, this is your everything that you want is in this number. Everything that you dream of, that you want your body to be, everything that you, every time you quit, this is what this means. This is the number that holds you accountable. This is the person that tells you no. This is the person that says you can do it. And it's for you, okay? Visualization, you're visualizing your own journey through put by putting this number on this window. You're telling yourself that you've committed to this. This is something that you want bad enough. So think about that number. So when you're gonna eat something bad, you think about this and you think about the commitment that you've made yourself right this moment to write this on this window and put this in, okay? Give it a go, Kaylee. It works so much. Today, I was at the end of my work, like literally like 45 minutes in and I was done. And I was like, what would I normally think of right now? I normally think of body rockers. What would I normally think of right now? I don't want to let people down. I want to keep pushing. I want to keep going. But actually, today, this morning, I wrote down day one to give this a try because it was something that I thought, oh, I wonder if it works. And if it didn't work, I didn't want to pass it on. But all I thought about was day one. All I thought about was day one, and that was what I visualized. And that day one for me is not giving up, making sure you get your workout in, not eating sweets, not cheating on yourself. And I know you can do this. I know you can do it, but you have to do it by... That's why I want you to take a picture of it and tag on Instagram or put it somewhere or put it on your pictures that you're putting into the Body Rock Insider page. Put it on your Instagram, on your pictures with your workout. So you can hold yourself accountable. You deserve this. And you can give yourself 30 days. I know you've got 30 days to give this to yourself. So when somebody tries to take you off this, you say, no thank you. That's it. Do you want to go out drinking? No thank you, but I'll come out and I'll have a coffee. I'm just, I'm just taking some time out for myself right now. I'm taking 30 days out for myself right now. And you lock it down for 30 days. And I promise you, the 30-day mark will be a change. If you can just keep it, if you can just see it through. For once in your life, just see it through for 30 days. That's it. That's all you've got to do. It's going to get tough, and it's going to be rubbish, and it's going to be crappy, and there's going to be times when you're going to want something that you probably shouldn't be eating. But always visualise the number and see the number grow. And every time you add another day, it's another moment of triumph it's another moment of motivation it's another jump it's another hurdle it's another day that you can go you know what i did this i'm doing this i'm on day 10 i'm killing it think of it as a proud thing to to get up and write another number knowing that the day before you were on track knowing that the day before you didn't give up i'm not saying that you have to do your workout every day that's not what i'm saying we're talking about things that you need to stop that you need to change, that you need to, to lock it down and get in the best shape of your life. Because 30 days time, it's still red hot summer. And think how much better you're going to be. So every time we wake up and we write down another number, we celebrate and we go, fucking yes. 
I'm on day five. I've killed five days. It's a positive reinforcement and every time you get to that place where you don't want to do it or you want to take the easy option or you want to take the cheat meal this is when you go to all of the food that i've shown you so go to the chicken curry go to the chicken barbecue chicken go to the salmon go to all of those things that i've showed you all of those things that keep you on track food is the hardest thing and know that sweets are hard to give up but if you think to yourself this is my contract and I've made a contract with myself. And if you let yourself down, then that's just like the ultimate thing. Like, don't let yourself down. Don't do it. I want this for you. I want you to see this through. I know you can feel me through the screen right now. I want you to really see changes. And I want you to rein it in 30 days. Even if you're at your leanest, even if you're at your strongest, 30 days of just reining it in just that little bit it will change everything. And if you're struggling completely and you've completely fallen off the wagon, in 30 days you will be back killing it every day. But you've got to start. It all starts on day one. It all starts here. It all starts on this day. No, don't drink wine. Take the wine away. If you want a glass of wine, maybe have one on the weekend. Okay? So every day. Every day you wake up, you write this down and you post it somewhere on your workout pictures or you write it somewhere or you make yourself accountable every day. Physically write it down on a mirror. So when you scrub it off, just like I did to put this one on here, tomorrow's my day two. Tomorrow I'll scrub it off and I'll be writing it again. And when I write day two or write day three or write day ten, I'm going to like be proud of myself for getting there, okay? Weekends are not going to be a downfall anymore because it's going to be an exciting, cool process. This is not about punishing yourself. This is exciting. Think, switch it on its head. Don't think about it as a negative. Think about this as an awesome 30-day journey of, of um, finding yourself and searching for like that thing that you have never been able to do before. And that's give yourself commitment. Give yourself time. Give yourself love and give yourself what you need to really do this okay hey yes amber i want this for you i want you to see the changes i really want you to commit to just writing this and it does work when i did my workout today i could see the writing in my in my my mind i was thinking no i'm gonna carry on because it's day one and i promised myself that this was a contract between myself and myself and if I let myself down, then what is then what am I, then what's the point of it? Yeah, see? Sona's on day 47 of eating clean. And how do you feel, Sona? Kelsey, do it. It really does work. With this is not a negative. This is not a I'm gonna tell you that you we're gonna try our very best not to eat sweets for 30. This is not that. That's not what this is. This is 30 days of self-love. This is 30 days of just going, you know what? It's time. I need to give myself this. I need to do this for me. This is something I need to do. So it's 30 days to smash it. 30 days to give yourself what you need. Give yourself that thing that you've always wanted and that's to just rein it in for 30 days and you are going to be different. You are going to change. It's not a punishment. This is not a punishment. This is not a, oh, in 30 days time, I'm going to be able to have a drink. Oh, in 30 days time, I'm going to be fine. Oh, I've made my 30 days. That's not what this is. This is a life changing experience that you are going to allow yourself to have. Because you know that you need it. You know that you need this extra kick. You know that the food is a struggle. You know that you just need to lock it down and almost have something that you can visualise on. It's almost like when you have a wedding to go to or a wedding to plan for. It gives you that thing to aim for. That's what I want this to be. That 30 days is your wedding. That 30 days is your dream body. That 30 days is your your a celebration and every day we're going to get closer and closer and closer to it and every time we write a day on here it's going to be a celebration every time we write something here it's going to be a new day it's going to be a new experience and it's going to be challenging and it's going to challenge you in ways that you've probably never experienced before if you've never cut out sugar if you've never cut out the naughty food if you've never done that there are going to be days when it's going to be challenging and they're the days you're really going to have to really concentrate on this contract between you and you 
you might be into day 14 and you're just going to crumble and somebody tries to take you off the wagon and take you out for food and you're going to have to make a decision between yourself and yourself you're going to have to make that decision because you know just how proud you will be of yourself when you get to that point you're halfway there at day 15 and it comes around so quickly honestly so please think about doing this please think about joining me you don't have to do it it's not something that i'm saying that you have to do but if you want to just lock it down and you want to just see this that magic that can happen in 30 30 small days of doing your workout and locking in your diet and when i say locking in your diet i'm talking about get let's get rid of the processed foods let's get rid of all that junk food let's not have the biscuits with the tea let's not put sugar in thing you know let's let's lock it down eat what you should be eating I know it's going to be boring, but I've showed you ways that you can get around it. Protein pancakes, you can have quark, you can have yogurts, you can have fruit, you can have whatever it is. Eat the, eat the things that are fruit instead of sugar, okay? Okay? Do you think that's a good idea? So I am going to join you. I am going to make this my day one again. So I'm going to do an extra day, actually. So I'm going to make tomorrow in the UK my day one. I'm going to post this on my Instagram. And this is my contract between me. Okay? Yes, it's a very good addiction. It's actually, it's, it's to do with visualisation. It's to do with a contract between you and you. It's used a lot in like counselling and things like that because the visualise of writing things down and making yourself accountable is a lot stronger than just saying it. It's a lot stronger than just saying, I'm going to do that. Because what you do is you go out at the weekend and then you go, ah, it don't matter, it's just the weekend, I'll get back on it tomorrow. You don't have that. When you write this on here, if you fail, then you have to wipe it off. And you've, you've, that's it. But every day you get up and every day you write a new day, It's that's what it is. It's a new day. It's a new day to your new self that you have decided to give to you. Not to me, not to another body rocker. You've taken it on board to give yourself what you need. You have done that. Just like when people decide to be vegetarian or vegan, etc. There is going to be struggles. There is going to be things that are going to ch challenge you. Absolutely. A million percent. Probably going to be a bit ratty for a couple of days if you're giving up like sugar for a bit. If you're giving up Coca-Cola. If you're giving up all of those things that you shouldn't be drinking. But every single day, every single day that you change that number is a celebration. It's a celebration of the fact that you are strong. You are willed, you are powerful, you have given yourself exactly what you need. And that's time. And you've given yourself time out to cut the crap, to take away all of the sweets and the things and all the things that aren't getting you to where you want to be. Because you know it's you. You're the only person that's giving you the self-destruct. You're the only person that's pushing the self-destruct button. You. You know what you should be doing. You tell me all of the time. You know what you should be eating. You know what you should be doing. You know you should be working out. But you just can't do it. You can do it. That's what I'm telling you. You're giving yourself excuses why you can't do it. This is your validation to say, I, I've got this. Like I am all over this and I'm doing it. So the minute you write day one, look at it. Take a minute. Take it in and think to yourself, this is it. This is my time for me. This is my sacrifice for me because I'm, I'm tired of going in circles. I'm tired of being on this roller coaster and letting myself down and taking the wine at the weekends and eating the takeaway food. I'm tired of nibbling on the kids' food and eating things I shouldn't. And I'm eating like heavy starchy breads and pastas and sauces and all of these things and I know that they're not getting me to my goal. Today is the day that I am going to say this is it. This is the moment for me. Okay? This is it. This is your moment. This is your contract. This is your time. Your time out just to do it for you. Do it for you. Okay? You ready? New mindset, new day, new challenge. Exciting challenge. It's an exciting journey that you're gonna take. This is an exciting 30 days. It's not a, it's not a punishment. 
it's a change it's that change that you have so so long needed and so long yearned for that's the thing some of you out there have just wanted this for so long and i know that our body rock insider page keeps other people motivated by posting by sharing by so if we do this as a group if we do this as a collective we are all going to see the benefits we are all going to do this together and we are all going to come out the other side just feeling so proud of each and every one of us so it's not just going to be you looking at me right now that's doing this we are going to be doing it as a group and there is no stronger thing that you can do than when you do it as a group we're all going to be there, all going to have our backs, we're all going to keep on top of it all and we are going to go right to day 30 and then we are going to celebrate. Good Cassie, do it, okay? So write day one on a mirror where you can see it and when you get to that point, you think about that number and you think about how far you've come and you post it, post it somewhere, put it on your Instagram, day five and I was going to cheat but I know how important this is to me, okay? I know how important this is to myself. And every day, even if you're starting right now, you're overweight, you drink too much, you're eating the wrong foods, it's all going to change in 30 days, I, I promise. You just make healthier choices and you move. You move your body, whether you're doing our beginner program, whether you're doing our intermediate program, whether you're doing our advanced program, whatever it is, you just move your body. It's all diet, I promise you. All of this is diet. Don't wait till Monday. Don't give me that excuse. It's now. Today is the day that we do it. Okay? Whichever thing you're doing, whichever th excuse that you've got going on your brain, why you can't do this right now, I've got a such and such at the weekend. Don't give me that. You can make changes. You can prep food. You can do it. If you want it and you, have, and you really want it bad enough and this is something that you just have craved for so long to either get to a point or start at a point or see some changes or you're just so frustrated that you can't kick it and you can't seem to get over the hurdle or you're at a plateau and nothing is changing, then no more excuses, none of them. Today is the time and this is where we write it down and we take it on visually and we make that contract and we all stick to it, okay? Rosie, whatever level you're at, go to sweatflix.com and we can help you with any workout. It's right there, ready to go. But food is the key. So, day one. What are you going to do with day one? You're probably going to find it pretty easy to get through day one. Day two is going to be your challenge. Day three is going to be a bit harder and the weekends are going to be tough. But you know what? We're way tougher than ruining our bodies with sugar and crap and food no more we are not doing this anymore and we have decided that this is it we're going to give ourselves that time that commitment that energy into us whether you're mums whether you're dads whether you're working whether you're nurses whatever you're doing but whatever moment you're at in your life if you're finding that you just need to just have that little bit of extra help this is where it's at and I'm not going to do it for you. You're going to do it for you. You are going to do it. You are going to make this contract with yourself every day. And every time you write a new number on here, it's going to be a celebration. And you are going to be so proud of yourself. And in 30 days, it's all going to be different. Okay? Good, SK. That's awesome. So, I'm off. I'll speak to you real soon. Enjoy Sean's workout. Enjoy my Hitmax 20. And, um, good. That's awesome. Awesome, Kim. I am going to put my day one on my, um, on my Instagram. If you want my food plan, it's at bodyrock.tv in the store. But you are going to stick to 30 days. And so am I. And we're going to do this together. See you later, guys. Bye.